Aloha, brothers and sisters. Dan McDonald here today, and I am going to be making some coconut yogurt. I've had a lot of people ask me why their yogurt's not turning out right. They seem to be doing everything right, but so I'm not sure. This keeps coming up over and over again. I make some incredible yogurt. Stick around for a minute and I will show you what happens when the yogurt is fresh and truly ripe as it's seeping out the top. But first of all, let's start off with, I've also had a lot of uh, questions on Facebook and email lately about the blender that I am using currently and KitchenAid in all their wisdom sent me a blender. It's a 3.5 horsepower KitchenAid. Now rumor has it that Blendtec is trying to catch up by creating a 3.8. So Blendtec's had some good blenders. Vitamix is pretty cool, but nothing that I've ever used comes close. Now when you're talking about power, the reason why you can't, I mean, I've burned out so many cheap blenders, it's not even funny. You gotta get a high powered blender. Vitamix does work. And the Blendtec works well also, but nothing that I've ever used in all my years has uh, worked quite as well as this KitchenAid 3.5. It gets everything creamier in those consistencies. And as a chef making food for a lot of people, uh, I need powerful tools. So this is the KitchenAid 3.5. Check it out online. Uh, at this point, I have no affiliate program with them. Uh, I'm gonna take this yogurt. Now this is what I do, okay? So now most of you have access to young Thai coconuts. Those are the kind of coconuts you're going to want to use. You learn how to use a knife and you can look this up on YouTube, how to open a young Thai coconut with a cleaver. You take the cleaver, you pop five edges and you pop that out. You get the water out, you strain the water, of course, and then you have enough water to use in your juices and in your yogurt. The next thing, now, but so I have uh, you know Hawaiian coconuts, and there's uh, some people watching that are living in the uh, on islands and things like that where they have access to uh, the wild coconuts as well. So today uh, we went over to the coconut stand and picked up a bunch of coconuts. We got a bunch of the mature ones, which we use to make coconut cream, and we've got some of the. These are what are called the juice coconuts, where you've got mostly juice, but then some of the more flimsier um, uh, meat. Here's some of the thicker meat. You see? You see that? How much more, you know, so the thick meat is good for eating because it's amazing for your teeth, but it also makes good yogurt. So what I've got here today is a real array of densities. There is pudding, which is really, really just pudding. Then there is thinner meat, then there is the uh, medium, then there is the firm, like this, and then there is the mature meat, which doesn't really work well for the yogurt, but works very, very well for the uh, cream, which you make in your Green Star, Hiram, or Omega Juicer. Uh, so today I've got a nice mixture. The reason why I'm making this is because I want your yogurt to turn out right because this is one of the most medicinal things that you can do. When you take this uh, meat, now coconut is probably one of the single greatest foods on earth. There's something that is so magical about it. I haven't really quite figured it out yet, but I'm paying attention to the drinking of it, the eating of the meat, the yogurt, and I'm watching that in my own experiments and I'm just trying to really find out what is the magic in these coconuts so that I can explain it, but it's just such a powerful food. Uh, it's so energizing and so satisfying and it's so neuroprotective, good for the skin, good for the cells, good for the teeth, good for the hair. It's just, it's such a wonderful food. So when you take this coconut and you make this yogurt, you have this very soothing uh, medicine is what it is because there's so much inflammation 
and I could explain that, but I won't do that right now. There is so much dysbiosis in the industrialized world. There's so many chemicals and there's been so much genetically modified foods and pesticides that each preceding generation, the micro diversity in the gut continues to shrink. And that's why we have a lot of mental disorders, lowered immunity, cancer, diabetes and everything else. You really want to have a strong gut flora. The probiotics help to keep the beneficial microorganisms, you know, proliferating. And it, this, this yogurt soothes the entire GI tract. And when you take this yogurt and you put the probiotics in it, and then the probiotics proliferate, they go from billions to trillions, right? And then when you eat the yogurt, it coats, it not only coats your mouth. Now you know that the, your teeth, when you eat certain types of foods, especially processed foods that bacteria is left behind on your teeth. Same thing with like dried fruit, not so much with, uh, you know, wet fruit or fresh fruit, uh, but more so with dried fruit, carbohydrates and animal products, you know, meat and cheese, a lot of bacteria is left on your teeth, a lot of debris, excuse me, and then the bacteria can proliferate. So of course you want to brush your teeth, but another good thing that displaces the bacteria in your mouth is the probiotics. That's why it's a great idea just to take a tiny little, you know, a quarter of a teaspoon or two, uh, you know, a half a teaspoon or whatever, put that in your mouth and swish it around for a couple of minutes before you go to bed, like after you brush your teeth. So that it's the very last thing. So you've just got nothing but healthy um, bacteria in your mouth from these probiotics. Now the coconut goes into the mouth, coats the mouth, coats the esophagus, coats the stomach, coats the small intestine and coats the large intestine. It's great to use as a dressing too for your salads because then you are just inoculating your gut with these probiotics. Okay. And there's a lot of issues that arise from having the improper diet, which is pretty much like everyone that I know. But anyways, I don't want to try to judge too much. Um, and all the issues that arise from that. So I think I have enough. I'm going to just go heavy on this one. Cause this, this thing is such a workhorse here. Boom, boom. So I got enough meat there. This is going to make a nice batch in the Vitamix or whatever. You can only, you can only do a half batch, but in this one, you can do a full batch. Oops, my little coconut snacks right there. So I put about, you know, I filled the blender up with meat. The ratio is usually two cups of meat to two cups of water. So I've got about, uh, if I chopped that meat up into and measured it out, it would probably be about uh, three cups of meat. And I put about, uh, this is actually about two cups of water. So this will be a really thick yogurt. I'm going to put a little bit more just to balance it out. So I like to blend it and then I'm going to add some probiotic. I forgot to tell you that what I do is uh, I take my knife and I clean all of, this is what makes the superior yogurt, is to clean off all of the little brown flecks until you have nothing but perfectly white coconut. There you go. So I'm going to blast this real quick. So there we go. That's a nice one. So that's kind of perfect. It's a little bit thinner, but I kind of want it. It makes it a little bit easier to pour for the video. So now I'm going to take just about a quarter of a teaspoon of the probiotics and blend it one last time. I mean, you can't really, the, the, the probiotics are so small 
that the blender doesn't really mess them up. You could put it in at the beginning. I just have this habit of putting in certain things at the end and putting in, and then I just get that to just stir up in there. You can't, but you can't really hurt the probiotics. They're way too small. Even with these blades go at 3.5 horsepower, you're not gonna chop these in half. They're so small. Okay, so I got the yogurt. Now, so that was it. Now what do I do? Next step is right here. Take the yogurt. Boom, you fill it up to, you leave a little bit of space because it's gonna expand, okay? And then I take this and I squeeze it on there super tight. I like to take, I, I have to take a towel sometimes if it's wet, which this, these ones are, and I take the towel and I take the jar and you can, you know, the reason why I do this is you'll see in a minute. I'll show you because this is the cool part and this is what everyone should be aiming for. Now you can make a million dressings, but there's nothing like just coconut and bananas, coconut yogurt and blueberries, coconut yogurt and uh, coconut. That's what I had for dinner last night, believe it or not. So check this out. This is what I'm talking about. All right, now you can see, okay, look at this. You're gonna see the reason why I cinch these down so tight. Now let's see if we can, first we'll do the YouTube. I don't think you can see, but there's some air pockets. It might focus in or not, but there's air bubbles in there, meaning those probiotics are working. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, that, I, I see the questions on the Facebook Live. It's actually Pyridime, the absolute best probiotics in the world by far, the purest, and designed for this specific purpose. So I have the meat. Now check this, this is the yogurt here. Now check this out. This is what you're aiming for. This is how you know you made the yogurt right. I gotta get this out, so, cause it is gonna pop. I gotta have this cause I squinch it down. If you don't squeeze it down tight enough, it'll start leaking out over the top, which this one already started to do just a little bit. But then, oh, now see, I just wanna loosen, oh, I just wanna loosen it enough, but not too much cause I want you to see what's up. Okay, so this one is actually, well, there we go. I'm going to show you real close. This one, I've already eaten. Uh, so now look at how it's going to be. You see how it's raising up out of the top? So this one, actually, I already took my dinner last night off the top of this thing. So that's normally what happens is it just co starts coming out. It's so alive. So it's not the example that I was hoping for where it starts busting out. And if you saw, I made a video like about a year ago uh, and you could see it squeezing out over the edges, you know? So I'm kind of bummed out that my little uh, experiment didn't uh, go over today. But uh, Is there another one in the fridge? I don't think so. Uh, the next one is not fully done yet. And so this is, when it busts out over the top, it's usually about uh, anywhere from three to five days, depending on how much probiotic you used. This time I used about a medium amount. So if you use a little less, it'll take a little longer. If you lose, use a little more, it'll go a little quicker. You can do a coconut yogurt and in the morning and it'll be done in the evening, but that is what I call a quick culture. This is what I call a slow culture. I prefer the slow culture because it's richer. So the probiotics, they, uh, they proliferate at a much higher rate according to the temperature. So the warmer that it is, the faster they 
uh, multiply. So that if you're if at the warmer temperatures, it's a lot easier to lose batches, but at the slower uh, cultures, it's much easier to uh, it's much easier to make sure you don't lose anything because when you're doing the warmer quick cultures, things can go off a lot quicker. They can go off, meaning uh, they go bad because they're sitting on the counter too long. You forget about it or whatever. If you do what I did, now you take this. I just made this. I squeeze that down super tight and this is going to be done in about probably four to five days. I'll put this back here, let it sit. And in about four or five days, it's going to be awesome. Okay, so that is good enough for now. I'll do this last one and I'll let you all go. That one was, I had to think too much on that video. I didn't get to talk about all the things I wanted to talk about, but I'm going to make some, uh, I'm going to make the snacker doodles as my Christmas present to you. So the cookies that we have for the, uh, we're going to be producing all kinds of uh, raw vegan treats and making online classes and stuff like that so that we can just continue to spread the love, the live foods, the raw foods, the vegan foods, you know, save a few animals along the way and all that good stuff. Cool, cool. So DTM is out of here. Thank you all very much.